Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. What we're getting ready to do today is we're going to, that's zucchini and squash, and we're going to cook that. We're going to make the most awesome, healthy side dish. We're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Can't do anything without the Queen Mrs. Dash. Some garlic salt. We're going to use some ground thyme. Some of that butter. Probably two of those tablespoons. And then, of course, some cheese. The Italian style. You can also just use plain old just Parmesan. You don't need all of them, but I'm going to use the Italian style. Makes a difference. All right. I'm going to get set up, and we're going to get started. We're going to make some yummy squash and zucchini one second all right welcome back one thing i did not tell you that we are going to use is we're going to use an onion this is just a yellow onion i'm going to use about a half a cup you can omit this or you can add it it just gives you that extra flavor that we're always looking for i wouldn't even say well maybe a little more than a third of a cup not quite a half a cup so we're going to get that going with a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to also add that butter here in just a second. All right, we want to get that going, get that sauteing. We're going to let this cook, get a little translucent. And we're going to do this for about five minutes. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Five minutes. All right, we've actually did six minutes. See what those onions look like? All right, so the next step, we're going to put some butter in here. Remember I told you two tablespoons at the least. At least two tablespoons of butter in here. And you can absolutely, if you don't wanna be, if you don't wanna use the butter, then you absolutely do not have to, okay? Just use a little bit more olive oil, okay? If you feel more comfortable being a little bit more on the healthy side. But I use the Blue Bonnet um, Light, so. But we love butter. But you can absolutely use a little bit more olive oil. Olive oil is good for you. It's not gonna hurt you. Get that butter melted up in there. And then, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to add that zucchini and that squash. And we're just going to put them on in there. Go on in. And then this is when we're going to go ahead and add our seasonings. We're going to go in with some garlic salt. And you can absolutely just use salt and pepper if that's what you prefer. Okay. We're going to use a little bit of the Queen, Mrs. Dash. And in case you don't realize it, that is the table blend. Okay, table blend. Okay, and then we're going to add one more ingredient, and then we're just going to let these babies just saute themselves right on up. And the next thing we're going to use is some thyme. Okay. We're using thyme. Ooh, that went out a little more than I expected. That's all you need. And then you're just gonna let this stir it all up. Get the onions and the butter and all that on that. And we're just gonna let them saute up. So I'm gonna come back. I don't know if I showed you. Dang, there we go. Let me grab one of these to show you the actual width of them. The medallion size. Okay, did the same thing with the zucchini. You want to kind of make these about the same. I don't know why this one didn't want to separate. You want to make these about the same size so that they will cook around the same time. And now this will actually take about 20 minutes to cook. So I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes, stirring every minute, and let you see what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, we are back, we are back, and we are back. Okay, these have been cooking for 15 minutes. Now, depending on how soft you want yours to be, I like mine to have a little bite to them. So what I'm gonna do now, 15 minutes, I'm gonna cut that fire off. 
because I don't need it anymore. Because I've got enough heat in here to do what I needed to do next, which is me. You can stop here. Don't add the cheese. Absolutely, you can stop here. But she's extra. So she's going to add the cheese. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit or a lot. <laughs> Depending on what you want on yours. There we go. We're done. Our zucchini and squash, or should I say, sauteed zucchini and squash with a little bit of Italian style cheese is done. I am going to just stir this up a little bit to see how it's already melting. So that's why I turned the fire on off. We don't want the cheese to burn. Or you can absolutely save your cheese for the very last to the very end and just sprinkle some on top. I'm going to plate some of this up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'll be back. We did it again. Yes, we did. Look how good that is. I just sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top. And like I said, you can definitely stop at this stage. You do not have to put the cheese on there. Things made easy with Gigi. Zucchini sauteed. Zucchini and squash with Parmesan cheese. If that's what you have. But I had Italian style. So, Italian style cheese. There you go. Done. You can eat this by itself. You don't even need any meat. This is this can be a meal by itself. Absolutely. Again, things made easy with Gigi. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. There is always more to come. Let's get those subscribers up. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Oh, yes, we can. Everybody be blessed. Stay safe. All right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.